for me. Oh yeah, he did. Okay. Come on. Let's get out of here. Alright, I killed the goblin. Alright, so... So, I must have a potion of incineration. But... I'm gonna throw my puce potion, because that's what I suspect is the potion of incineration. Okay, I was right. So, uh... You want to run away from this, because fire can spread sometimes. Actually, it can't really spread on the ground, but can spread in grass and, and foliage. Definitely. So we have the key. Now we could have just swam to it, but... <clears throat> like I said, the game is designed, so you don't really have to do that. It always generates an item to burn things down or to float across, you know... Sometimes it'll give you a potion of levitation. Okay, so uh, some kind of special armor is in here. A plus three at leather armor with an unknown runic. So uh, some weapons and armor will have a special ability attached to it, such as this one, but I don't know exactly what it is. But we'll equip it. <coughs> And we will go downstairs. <clears throat> Eventually, I'll figure out what it actually does. Okay. So, yeah, but every game is different, you know. Your character will have to use different strategies depending on what items you have. Especially the staves, armor, and weapons that you have will really determine your strategy. Um, how many potions of strength versus how many potions of en enchantment, because those are the basic ways that you get stats, is finding these scrolls and potions that buff your abilities and buff your items abilities. Alright, my monkey is kicking butt. So this is a chasm. Uh, some food, scrolls, scrolls. Found the downstairs gold okay found a this is a jelly um, pretty common on level 4 and they're kind of dangerous um, the best strategy is to get into a hallway but since I have my monkey and good armor I'm not really worried um, but you want to attack the one closest to you that um, that is weakest. So it's usually the one that splits off the other one. But they're getting kind of out of control right now. I'm kind of afraid my monkey's going to die. But I'm kind of in a weird position as well. Okay, yeah, my monkey died. I'm sure I can get them though. Yeah, well, monkeys kind of suck. I'm not surprised he's dead. Jackal. Okay. Two 
potions of detect magic. Too full to pick up a warhammer. Oh, I need to use this potion of strength. <clears throat> okay, now I have a warhammer. Hmm. Oh, plus three leather armor of mutuality. What does that mean? The damage from any physical attacks that you sustain will be split evenly among yourselves and all other adjacent enemies. Ah, so if I'm next to a few... That's probably why those jellies were so easy. As soon as one of them hit me, all the other ones took damage that were touching me. Okay, that's, that's a good uh, trait to have in my armor. I kind of wish it was like plus three scale mail or plus three plate mail or something, but um, yeah, it's good armor to have for sure, especially right now. No path for further exploration. Do I have any levitation potions? Like, what is back here? There's gotta be something back here, right? Is it just a chasm? Eh. I'm suspicious. Searching, searching. Do I have any detect magic? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna use one. Eh. Doesn't really tell me anything. Hmm. <coughs> Except that my warhammer is not anything special. Okay. <coughs> it's time to test out some scrolls, I think. See what this one does. Okay, scroll of teleportation. What about this one? Scroll of identify. Okay. Uh, let's find out what these potions are. Hallucination potions. Okay. All right. All right. There's another scroll. I'm gonna use it. Remove curse. Okay. And, uh, what about this one? Scroll of Enchantment, okay. What do I want to enchant? My Ring of Stealth, or my Staff of Poison, or my Armor? My Armor is pretty good. I think the Ring of Stealth would be nice to be a little bit better. So I'll use that, and then I'll save the rest of my... my scrolls. Now toads can make you hallucinate. Alright, that's a goblin totem right here. Um, it's uh, basically it heals and helps the goblins in the room and shoots lightning at you. So they're kind of annoying. Oh, okay. There's 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 a trap. You'll run into more traps as uh as you progress down. If you search in the room, you you'll probably find one. Good, good habit to press the S key every once in a while in a new room. Although when you're auto exploring, I mean, there's not much you can do. Okay, got a vampire bats. Um, hopefully they won't gang up on me. They are very annoying. I'm gonna poison this one. 
I've had uh, many deaths to vampire bats. I poisoned the monkey too. Because my weapons right now are just not that good. Okay, this is an arrow turret. There's other kinds of turrets, but the arrow turrets are the weakest and most common early in the game. Three potions of hallucination. I don't know what that's going to do to help me by having all those, but... Hmm. I just wish my strength was higher. I had a weapon that was a little bit better. Attacking the jellies, the monkeys, I feel weak with hunger, should pro oh, should probably get, eat some food, okay. Huh, is there anywhere that looks like the hidden room, possibly? It's hard to say. Um, not really. Okay, so I just got to level 6. I think this is a good time for me to stop. Um, just so I can regroup. I'll be back in a little bit.